I'm glad we could be together again. Even if it was only for a little while. Pressa. Pressa, I... I'm happy for you, Al. Open your eyes. Now you've found your place as well. Things in this world you just can't fix, no matter how hard you keep trying to! Uh. <laughs> Drown in despair! You okay? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm fine. Hey. You've always tried your best, even when you were a little girl. I've lost count of all the times you've saved me because of it. I'm alright, Jude. You should go try and cheer up Alvin. You're the only one who can. You play the martyr as well as Jude does. Guess that's one of the reasons why I fell for him. Well put. That's right. Look, I know that sometimes doing your best still isn't enough to fix everything in this world. But... It's what I do best. It's my only real strength. Yes, I know that. Alvin... Where will you go now? I don't know. What's it to you? Come with us. Now the kids want to babysit me. Don't think that this is easy for me. I can't forget what you did to Leia. I'll tell her. I'm sorry. You do that. Jude, don't let that big fat liar come with us! He'll just stab us in the back again! <laughs> you don't exactly hide your feelings. No, she doesn't, because Elise is a good and honest girl. It's strange. It's hard to believe how fast that kid has grown up already. He really hates me now, doesn't he? That's right. And I hate you, too. Thanks, Elise. What do you mean? You can hate me all you want, okay? It's good to know how people really feel for a change. Well, I hate creepy people just as much. Let's go, Tipo. Rowan is right. I can't stay like this. This scenery is incredible. Yeah. God, I did that again. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. Well, it looks like Alvin's joined us again. Oh, Alvin. Well, let's go ahead and level up the Lilium Orb a little bit more. Oh, you know, I'm I'm glad. I'm glad he's back. Cause even though he caused us much pain and suffering, he's been going through much himself. And he wouldn't do things without a reason. 
He is confused. Trust me. He's he's beyond confused, but I just feel like he's in pain, you know? He's always been in pain. And I feel I feel really horrible about Agria and, and Pressa. Because those were the two characters I really wanted to like have expanded on. Like that really sucks to me. What is this? Roche Waltz. Like I really I'm really mad about that. Like I maybe they'll mention it later, which would be cool. But I really wish they expanded on both both of those characters a little bit more. We only know a little bit about Agria and we knew like next to nothing about Pressa, which was kind of depressing. What? Uh no. Wait, am I at the end of the game? Oh wait, they did give me the signs. I mean, I just killed off two of the Chimera. Oh, Jesus. Am I at the end of the game? Holy crap, what? Oh God. Uh, well, who wants to come with me to uh, get items? <laughs> We're going to Shelton. Did not think this would be the end of the game already. I mean, it makes sense. We're going after Maxwell, but I might go get a Mega Elixirs. <laughs> Hey, we got a hat. And a hat style for Jude. And a hat style for Mila, who's dead. And Alvin. And Elise. And Rowan. And Leia. And 20,000 gold. <laughs> hey, can you believe it? That trader's actually hunting for feathers. I've been in the business for a long time, but I've never heard of a feather trader. I don't even know what that voice is. <laughs> Neither have I, but he seems to be doing pretty well. Guess he found someone crazy enough to buy him. Mutton! Fresh mutton! I hear you in the background. You know that's been like a running th thing throughout that whole game? They have that voice clip go in the background for like everything. So, like every 10 seconds there's this guy yelling, Mutton! Fresh mutton! And, yeah, that just always happens. I'm gonna buy a bunch of Omega Elixirs. Like, fuck it. There we go. Mutton! Fresh mutton! Great food. This Sheraton's a pretty sweet bird. And sorry about the yelling, and sorry I cut them off again, because I'm fucking awful as a person. Um, okay, we need to buy life bottles. Elixirs don't even really matter that much because of the skills I have. So, I'm actually fine with not getting elixirs. Life bottles are pretty much elixirs now. So, why even bother? Oh my god, when did I get 100,000 gold? Holy crap! Oh my god. Maybe I should go upgrade stuff. Yeah. Okay, anything I can do here? I don't think there's really any bird stuff I can give. I'll give some of these. We'll go ahead and check the, um, check the items in the weapons shop and stuff. See if there's anything I can really get, but I don't know if there is. 
We're pretty good on him. Uh, we're really good. We're pretty good on weapons, honestly. Like, we have the best we can get, so... Um, armor would be helpful, though. This is not armor, but let's check this place anyway. Max TP to 30%, that'd be cool. But I'm good. I'm like, I'm kind of bewildered right now. Like, is this really the end of the game? I'm really sad if it is. Like, um, unbelievably sad. Did he get new armor? Oh, I guess he did, because he has good defense. Didn't mean to do that. That'd be really good. I honestly just want more P defense on him, or physical defense. I think that'll help uh, Rowan in the long run. We'll go ahead and buy this for Elise. And I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm liking the money I have all of a sudden. <laughs> but um, I might just end it off here. I mean... I know it's been a short session, but if that's the end of the game, I don't I don't want to just like go right in. I want to like I want to level up a little bit. This is crazy. I'm like I'm scared now. Is this is this a thing that's actually happening? Oh, well now we're starting at the very beginning of the hollow mount. Oh my god, is this really the end? Like, oh my god! Well, a handmaid's pride. Looks like Ivor's angry at me again. It looked to me as though Ivor's anger was mostly with himself. I do believe you have won his approval. I have? Yes, but Ivor is a prideful man, and can ill endure the humiliation of defeat. That's probably why I got that feeling he won't show up again. You almost sound sad about that. Ivor has done nothing but yell at you. I certainly didn't like that part. But if we could have done it in a civilized fashion, it would have been nice to sit down and talk for once. I see. Oh god. I mean... Ivor's a cool guy now. Kind of, maybe. I don't... Oh god, I'm like, I'm conflicted. I'm having a conflicted moment, because I wasn't expecting the whole... Would, you can't go back once you go past this point. That is pretty much the sign that it's the end of the game. And I really wasn't expecting it so fast. I might just end it off here and like climb back up myself and grind a little bit and just... Hit it up next time. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do, but for now, uh, let's watch like a couple more skit skits, because they're good for the story. Musea Drift. Muse seems to be getting crazier and crazier. It isn't easy to lose the person who guides you. You don't know what you're supposed to do. You lose what little confidence you have in yourself. Hey. It'd just be easier to do nothing. Wouldn't that be okay? I couldn't respect myself if I chose that path. Uh, uh. Oh, I gotta watch this. Alvin's apology. Hey, how's it going, Leia? Good to see you again. What's with you? <clears throat> After what happened, it hasn't been easy finding my old groove again. I would certainly hope so. Yeah. So, you at least feel bad about it, huh? Well, yeah. Are you doing okay? I'm alright. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. Are you really okay with me again? Not entirely. 
Fair enough. Oh. That reminds me I need to unequip the Kratos thing. <laughs> like, what is this hat style? Oh, well, that's kind of cool, actually. That's really cool. Like, I like that hat style thing. That's cool. Um, I forgot. I really wanted to apologize about the, um... Oh my god, that's weird. That looks weird on him. I really wanted to apologize about the, um... The Kratos outfit during, like, the biggest scene in the fucking game. Like, oh my god, that was kind of awkward. But... Oh well. It happens. I don't know why I'm, like, stalling this out. I've been standing here for, like, five minutes wondering what I'm going to do. You know what? I'm just gonna end it off, and next time... Next time, we're gonna go through that fucking portal, because holy shit. Yeah, I think it's better to just end it off now, and then we'll... I'll meet you up there. I'm not gonna walk all the way up there. I'll meet you up there. I'm gonna level up a little bit off-screen, and uh, we're gonna head through that portal, because that might be the end of the game. Which is really crazy to say. Jesus. So yeah, next time on Let's Play Tales of Zillia. We'll be hitting up that portal, going after Gaius and Maxwell. So I'll see you guys then.